What's up guys, in this video I'm gonna be showing you what proxies are and why you should be using them. So you might be asking, what is a proxy? And to save everyone a lot of boring details, a proxy is simply a duplicate of your original footage, but in lower resolution and in a better codec to edit with. You may have noticed that DJI drone footage is very hard to edit, and that's because they use a very compressed format called H.264. This is what most cameras shoot unfortunately, and it is not good for editing. Now before we get into creating the proxies, I want to explain when I think you should be using them. First, if you have a computer that has a hard time editing 4K footage, or even editing in general, creating proxies can be a great way to get more life out of your system. I promise you that using proxies will make your computer edit so much smoother than you have ever experienced. It is literally a night and day difference. Many people think proxies are a waste of time because you have to wait for your computer to create the files. But if your project is going to take more than one day to edit, you can easily let those proxies get created overnight and save you so much hassle for the rest of your edit later. Seriously, just give them a try. If you're doing same day edits, I understand you don't have time to make proxies, but if it's gonna be more than a couple days, make proxies and just make your life easier. All right, so let's go ahead and start creating the proxies. If you don't already have Adobe Media Encoder open, go ahead and open it. Once it's opened, look for this preset browser, and if you don't see it, go up to Window and then Preset Browser. From there, go ahead and click the plus icon and then click Create Encoding Preset. Once that's loaded up, the first thing you want to change is the format, and this is probably the most important thing to change, so make sure you do this properly. If it says H.264 or anything else, go ahead and go down to QuickTime. Once you're on QuickTime, click Video, and then you're gonna change the video codec you wanna change this to Apple ProRes 422 Proxy. Go ahead, click that. The quality is going to be grayed out. You don't need to worry about that. And if width and height say based on source, go ahead and uncheck that. And we're gonna type in 1280 by 720. From there, you can go ahead and check the box for frame rate, field order, and aspect ratio. You're just telling Premiere that you want to base these off of your original media, which is totally fine. From there, go ahead and click on effects, and we're gonna go to image overlay. What we wanna do here is take a transparent image that you can overlay on top of your footage so you can know immediately at a glance if you're working with your proxy footage or your original media. So go ahead and check this box, and then click the applied, and click choose. I will provide the watermark file for you to download. So go ahead and download that and then place this somewhere on your computer where it's not going to move. Once you create this preset, the preset is going to keep referencing the image and wherever you put it. So if you're moving the image around your computer, the preset's not going to know where to look. So make sure to put this in a place where you're not going to move it. I went ahead and just placed this file in my Media Encoder Presets folder because I know I'm not gonna be touching that. Go ahead and click Open. And now from here, you can leave everything else except change position to bottom right or wherever you want it to be. I don't want it to be in the center of my footage, so I choose the bottom right. So it's just kind of out of the way, but at a glance, I can still tell that it's my proxy footage. Now let's go ahead and name this. You can name it 1280 by 720 ProRes Watermarked encoding. From here, all you have to do is right click on this and click create ingest preset. And now there's only a couple more boxes you need to click. You can ignore copy files to destination, but make sure transcode files to destination is checked. This is going to be set to a random folder. You can completely ignore this. It does not matter. Do not worry about what this folder is because later it won't even matter. From here, you want to click the drop down and select the preset that we just made. So right here, that would be 1280 by 720 ProRes watermarked encoding. Once you have that selected, go ahead and name this the same thing. Except at the end, instead of saying encoding, add the word ingest. Go ahead and click OK. And now from here, you're gonna right click on this and then do reveal preset file. The only reason you're gonna do this is just so it can tell you where this file is. So down here, you can see the file path to get to this, you're going to need this just a little bit later. Now we're inside of Premiere and I'm gonna show you how to create the proxies. Right click on your clip, go down to proxy and click create proxies. From here, you'll notice this destination box and this is why I said earlier, it doesn't matter what folder you pick because what you wanna click every time is next to original media in proxy folder. So what this does is every time it creates the proxies, it's going to put it in a folder called proxy next to the original media, which makes it very easy to find. So go ahead and click that. 
And then from here, we need to add our ingest preset because for you, it's probably gonna say H.264 and have a couple random presets. So click add ingest preset. And then for me, it went immediately to my presets folder because I've already been there. But for you, you probably haven't been there yet and you're going to need to go and navigate there. So let's go ahead and click the preset we made before and then open. And now you can click OK and Premiere will start creating the proxies. Now you can see we're inside of Adobe Media Encoder and it is making our proxy files and it is almost complete. Now that it's done, we can go back to Premiere and I'm gonna drag the clip down to my timeline. From here, if you don't already have the proxy icon toggled on, you can click the plus icon over here and then drag it to your toolbar. Now, whenever this is turned on, you'll notice that the proxies are enabled. So if I turn this off, the proxies are gone. If I turn it back on, the proxies are enabled. So now notice how smooth it is for me to scrub. It's literally playing every single frame. It's not skipping anything. It's scrubbing as fast as my mouse will move, which is absolutely great. Now, if I go ahead and turn it off and try and do that same scrubbing, you'll notice it's barely updating and it's skipping all over the place. It's skipping probably half the frames I'm going over. But if I go back to proxy, It'll play every single frame without dropping any of them. And now just remember, I'm on a very powerful computer. So even on a very powerful computer, I still think proxies are worth using for DJI drones and certain codecs. If you're on a computer that's even weaker, I would recommend using proxies for all of your footage. One thing that is important to mention is that Premiere Pro will always use the original media for exports. So even if your proxies are toggled on, Premiere won't use them for exporting. And the last thing I have to mention is if you're like me and have a camera that shoots in a resolution of 4096 by 2160, you need to use the 1024 by 540 proxy preset that I will provide for you. If your footage is 3840 by 2160 or 1080p, you can use the 1280 by 720 preset we just created. The reason for this is the aspect ratio of 4096 by 2160 is different from regular 4K and 1080p. So the proxies would add black bars onto it if you tried to use the 720 preset on the 4K footage for something like the 1DX Mark II. So there you guys have it. Those are proxies and how they can accelerate your workflow. I know this topic may seem a bit daunting at first, but I would encourage you to give them a shot and see how they can help your workflow. If you guys have any other questions, let me know.